नमस्ते एवरीवन वन नाउ वी हैव स्टार्टेड डिस्कसिंग एक्सरसाइज वन बिफोर दैट वी टुक एन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द बेसिस फॉर व्हिच वी आर हैविंग द मॉर्निंग सेशन बेसिकली वी आर वर्किंग टू हैव हैप्पीनेस एज आवर इनेट नेचर एंड नॉट एज सम एक्सटर्नल इन्फ्लुएंस एंड फॉर दैट वी नीड टू अवेकन टू द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ कंटेंप्लेशन अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड रियलाइजेशन सो वी डिस्कस दैट एट लेंथ वी आल्सो डिस्कस्ड अबाउट कोएक्जिस्टेंस इन एक्जिस्टेंस एंड वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द समर्जेंस ऑफ फोर ऑर्डर्स in his face with that we started discussing exercise 1 so this assignment we had taken yesterday we concluded that to ensure continuous happiness we need to develop three things right understanding in the self right feeling and right thought in the self competence for right living with the world outside notice that third is only possible if we develop first and second throughout the day note how much time you are investing in developing yourself and how much time you are spending looking outside at neighbors relatives friends strangers activities and situations outside each time you catch yourself looking outside especially complaining about others about situations etc let it be a reminder to yourself to see your participation while making effort for self development note your observations in general and we can discuss this today so basically we so that to see the reality as it is we need to do some exercises exercise 1 is basically seeing the self by the self so we can see that there are three things to be ensured one is the right understanding in the self then right feeling and right thought in the self and then competence for right living with the world outside now the problem is that mostly our attention is outside and that's how we are not able to work for right understanding right feeling and right thought in the self in continuity so we need to draw our attention to within one self within the feeling the thought the imagination so this is something that we had discussed yesterday if you have any reflection any question in this regard you can discuss you can raise your hand prabhat kumar jha ji namaste bhaiya most of the time uh, right understanding right feeling continue in the self but i have tried looking when outside is difficult complaint comes when i become alert complaint goes after some time again uh, 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 somebody has done something he should not do it i am better than him i will i don't know but it comes it comes and uh, again when i become alert i think it is not good i should not have to do it because uh, i should keep two th- uh, things in the brain right understanding right feeling and right thought it goes but it takes it, it, i will have to struggle for that i am struggling for that it is not straight happening every time bhaiya why it is i don't know i am doing from the very beginning long time one week 10 days 15 days even tomorrow also tomorrow also there is problem uh, uh, with my relatives so i always tell that they should do it they should not do it again i remember are what i am doing what i should have to do because there should be right understanding right feeling right thought in me then i become alert and after some time get cool it was okay but bhaiya i have to struggle for that i am not a straight way i could not do it how can i get it straight to the point please guide me. yes bhaiya very sincerely presented <clears throat> so the question that you raised was concerning relationships so in relationships we are struggling we have so many thoughts we have contradictions in the thoughts and that is because we have not been able to contemplate on the naturally acceptable feelings in relationships for example mm-hmm. trust if i am able to see very naturally within me that i want to make the other happy and the other also wants to make me happy naturally so i will not have any doubt on intention of the other now when i am able to see that my relatives are not having right understanding they are not having the right conduct then i start doubting their intention and then i am in turmoil then i have a jumble of thoughts i am caught up in my own imagination i am struggling with them having lot of conflicts and that is painful Oh, yeah, yeah, but the yeah, way yeah. out is yeah the way out is to be able to contemplate on the naturally acceptable feelings 
so when i am able to see very clearly that intention of every human being is pure only the competence is lacking and my complementarity in relationship is to develop the competence of the other then i think accordingly i plan accordingly i execute or accordingly i act accordingly if not then my conduct is also not definite and it is always the case that if i am not having right understanding then my conduct is not going to be definite so at times i am also doing something which is making them struggle in relationship with me yes so the way we share while discussing the film of relationship no that the glass got broken by me but the other broke the glass this is a common kind of error in every relationship if we are not having trust so we excuse ourselves for our lack of competence but we penalize the other at least in our thought i was thinking that i will ask this question but i even i allow it i understand all these things i go through the material a number of times i understand that uh, uh, when they are in relationship i should have to develop their competence and everything knowing everything bhaiya what could not do this every time not every every time i could not do this i i used to do sometime but not every time doing every time uh, you have also told that i should have to be in exercise exercise and then i will be able to do it yes Thank bhaiya you. so that's what we are doing is size one for first of yeah. all to observe the current state my imagination at the moment and then to transform so if my imagination is not in line with my natural acceptance then i try to trace within me what is in line with my natural acceptance and be in accordance with it so it's not that it is going to happen in a day or two because i have a jumble of sanskars inside me mm, layer correct. by layer correct so if one gets explored then the other comes to the surface and then i have to keep on exploring because living in relationships i might be carrying so many doubts fears apprehensions or even some maybe at times you know, some feeling of opposition revenge all those things could be there so i have to sort them out the good thing is that the moment i am able to see my natural acceptance they start getting evaluated i don't have to struggle with them anymore otherwise yes. we'll keep on struggling and that becomes more painful so there is one state when i am completely ignorant i am not aware what is there inside me the other possibility is that i get aware and i am struggling with them that is more painful but the third scenario is that i get resolved and for that we are working yes yes bhaiya yes bhaiya yes bhaiya try to resolve it i am trying to resolve it thank you bhaiya thank you so what we'll do we'll observe for 5 minutes the day that we spent yesterday so how much time you were investing in developing ourselves and how much time you were just focusing outside let us evaluate it and let us observe what is our daily routine for how much time i am looking at others and trying to fetch happiness from them how much time i am working for happiness within observing within so what we'll do we'll do this assignment even now for 5 minutes let us try to recap the day we spent yesterday what all happened and then see through it whether we were having resolution in our imagination whether our conduct has been definite yesterday or it got indefinite whether my attention was focused outside or inside so we'll observe this for 5 minutes and then share and discuss
Yes, so you observed this for the past five minutes. The second point that is given the assignment is very important. Each time you catch yourself looking outside, let it be a reminder to yourself to see your participation while making effort for self-development. So whenever we are looking outside, so are we complaining about others, about the actions of others, their behavior, their conduct, or we are looking into our participation, our role in improving the situation, in complementing the other? Any reflection there? So you can raise your hand. No reflection is there, then we can proceed with the discussion. And in due course of time, you can raise your hand and share. So this is something that we had discussed yesterday. So we want to live with continuous fulfillment. And for that, we need to ensure all the three. Right understanding in the self, right feeling, right thought in the self. And competence or right living with the world outside. Mostly happens that we are ignorant of one and two. And we are trying to develop skills assuming that to be competence and then you feel that we are being responsible to the world outside but inside we are not happy we are not fulfilled and that becomes a major problem see next side we are so we are doing these exercises in order to develop right understanding of the existential reality self body family society nature and the entire existence in the self. Right feeling, right thought of relationship, harmony and coexistence in the self. And competence or right living in the self, that is living in relationship, harmony and coexistence with the world outside. So this is something that we have been discussing earlier also. So we need to develop the understanding of existential reality, right from self, the entire existence. And for that, we had elaborate discussion. So the proposal is here. Only that we have to now verify the proposal as a pure observer. We have to see the reality as it is. Now when I go to see, then my thought, my imagination is guided. My feeling is guided. So I'm able to contemplate on relationship. I'm able to understand harmony. I'm able to realize coexistence gradually. And then with this, my feelings are always in line with my natural acceptance. That is always in line with relationship, harmony and coexistence. And the same thing is there with the thought. Now I have to make out you know, for how much time I am having my feeling, my thought in line with relationship, harmony and coexistence. And for how much time it is something different. And then I can develop the competence in terms of behavior, work and participation. So when I go to behave with a human being, I can evaluate whether it is leading to mutual happiness. When I am working, I can evaluate whether it is ensuring mutual prosperity. And when I'm participating, then I can see that my participation, the entire nature is there. And I'm able to work for universal human order and human tradition. So the way we have been sharing earlier, on one hand, we are trying to ensure completeness of right understanding by ensuring realization within. And on the other hand, we are working for participation in the universal order leading to human tradition. These are two ends. We are working simultaneously on both ends. So at one end is verification within and at the other end is the validation outside. So we'll work on the self first. Once we are able to set the self right, we'll be able to live in the world outside. And our major focus, therefore, will be on ensuring right understanding of the essential reality, right from self to the entire existence in the self. And right feeling, right thought of relationship, harmony, and coexistence in the self. So to live with fulfillment, we need to understand. And to understand, we need to see, to observe. And to see, we need to pay attention. So in these exercises, we are paying attention to see, to understand, and ultimately to live with fulfillment. We need to make mistakes. We tend to make mistakes in living with the reality that we do not understand. For example, we tend to make mistakes in living in relationships if you do not understand relationship. So unless you understand, we are going to make mistakes in our living. So while paying attention, there are two important aspects. One is the object of attention and the second is process of paying attention. So the object of attention would mean where I am paying attention to. Where I am paying attention to. Is it the conduct of others or is it my feeling? Is it the problems in the society or is it my lack of right understanding? Is it the struggle outside that I am trying to evaluate or is it the struggle inside that I am trying to overcome? 
so what is my object of attention so this is very much important the process of paying attention if you look at the form of it it can vary from person to person one person may do it in one manner some other person may do it in some other manner but the object is something definite so we have to understand all that we live with the self the body the family the society the nature and ultimately the entire existence in the first course on uhv we have seen that existence is coexistence that is units are submerged in space and units are of two kind material units and consciousness units so we'll try to understand consciousness that is self material for example body and coexistence or space so these are the three realities to be understood and this is the object of attention so i have to pay attention to the consciousness i have to pay attention to the material and i have to pay attention to space the coexistence the more clarity i have about this the more definiteness of conduct is there in my living so this will do by way of the following exercises so in exercise 1 you are going to understand the consciousness that is self in detail so you are going to pay attention to consciousness that is observing the consciousness by the consciousness in exercise 2 we are going to understand the material for example body in detail so to understand consciousness i have to pay attention to the self that is me now when i have to understand the material since my body is material i can pay attention to the body isn't it so by paying attention to the body i can observe the material and then we we'll briefly touch upon exercise 3 which is for understanding the coexistence by space so we are not going to do exercise 3 here but if you look at exercise 2 the last step of exercise 2 relates us to exercise 3 that is observing the coexistence the submergence it needs little more preparation so we will not be doing exercise 3 here right now but we will be doing exercise 1 and 2 and you can see that exercise 1 itself takes a lot of time and uh, preparation for us to do it successfully in exercise 2 also we have ample scope for development so once we are able to accomplish it or at least do it to some extent that we can pay attention to the submergence then we can go for it for time being we will not be doing that here so three things to be understood consciousness material and coexistence if there is any question regarding this you may raise your hand is this okay do we need to observe something more or something less ji lipi goswami ji namaste everyone so bhai i want to ask you what is the process of doing the exercise one that means at first step uh, we have to close our eyes and we have to feel ourselves like that i am existing i who is i like that what is the step properly because whenever i close my eyes some thoughts come to our mind like the thoughts uh, that means the experiences whatever i have gone through on that particular day or the work which is left to do today or what should i do something like that again again i divert my mind to feel that mm, i should not look outside i should not look on me so uh, bhaiya proper way of doing that exercise step one like this can there be some steps that we have to close our eyes like yeah i will elaborate on this also so like this kind of mechanism whether you close your eyes or keep your eyes open whether you sit or you you know lie down it is all up to you that is not the core thing the core issue is whether i am able to pay attention to the reality the consciousness the material and the coexistence that is the core issue rest is up to you so we'll uh, discuss exercise 1 and 2 there are seven steps in both our exercises and we are always saying that this is one way and not the only way so there also you can go through the steps execute them you can follow the steps properly and then try to observe the reality the key is observing the reality we'll talk about it also whether you have to close your eyes or not but i let me say that this is something completely up to you whether you close your eyes or keep your eyes open but we have to observe yeah observe the consciousness step by step that is fine that is something you know, that we have to do 
ओके भैया भैया आई वांट टू आस्क यू दैट येस्टरडे वी हैव लर्न दैट व्हेन एवर वी जस्ट लीव अ लाइफ दैट मींस वी डिपेंड ऑन से फिजिकल एक्टिविटी फिजिकल फैसिलिटीज नाउ व्हेन एवर वी लीव अ लाइफ विथ कंटेंटमेंट देन रिलेशनशिप्स आल्सो कम एंड व्हेन एवर एंड वी हैव टू uh awaken ourselves so that we have to uh, live the life with contentment and in and that should place in continuous way now the thing is that whenever uh, a person uh, is living is going in that direction then say uh, say he is interested he has certain hobby um say he want uh, he he likes doing gardening and all and uh, he looks at his plants that uh, they are properly nurtured or not and whenever some flowers comes out then um, the person is very much excited but that is actually excitement and that is dependent on the outer surroundings and that cannot be tell as happiness but these small small things can it lead to lead our life to the feeling of contentment no see now when you say life of contentment it means my desires are definite now my desires are definite only when i am able to contemplate on the naturally acceptable feelings when i am able to understand the harmony in the nature when i am able to see the submergence of nature in space so by looking at things outside and fetching happiness from outside there can be no continuity of happiness so what you are saying does not ensure happiness in continuity or contentment because we are trying to fetch something from outside the moment that i depend on something outside for my happiness i am a slave and when i am enslaved i cannot be contented because this may or may not be there the outside source today it is there tomorrow it may not be there so i'll always have that craving for something outside to be favorable so in place of having contentment or in place of having happiness in quantity i will always have that craving i'll carry it within and then i will be driven by things outside so i am enslaved i am not self organized that way okay bhaiya bhaiya thank you anand damani ji namaskar bhaiya ji namaskar naam every poets brother and this whole concept of uh, what we should do to start observing uh, is uh, a very uh, nuanced question where we all try to see the results of some exercise some pattern something that we have done and to ensure that we keep getting the same results so this practice of uh, either keeping our eyes closed or our eyes open or trying to focus in one particular way these are all bodily practices which can uh, help uh, in training your body to be in some particular situation or particular position to assist the internal jeevan or the uh, self that is trying to be in coexistence with the body and understand itself the whole purpose is understanding and seeing the existential reality as it exists uh, all of existence existential reality is in the form of uh, some motions some activities some things that are going on uh, within the self and a lot of activities going outside the self in the body as well as in all the surrounding that the body is connected with so being able to observe all those activities that are going on as well as being able to see that all this is as per rules as per certain systems as per certain uh, naturally processing systems that are in place uh, is one of the basic uh, thing that we are trying to do in these exercises the more nuanced the more subtle the more uh, uh, clearly you are able to see understand and find those patterns that helps you keep Uh, sticking to whatever habit that suits you the only objective should be to be able to see everything in harmony and in motion and the whole existence of this all these forms that are there in a formless uh, space or a static 
space that we know as the source of coexistence with energizes with regulates and which helps everything be in order so iske liye whatever the physical postures and the other avenues that seem helpful to you can be practiced but they are not going to be uh, one standard way of doing it we have to be open to try and understand all that exists with all kinds of faculties of imagination and the understanding power that we have this is what i wanted to share via to didi's comment bhaiya what you said requires multiple corrections okay and so it has made things more complicated <laughs> so let oh, me sorry <laughs> sorry so, sorry then i'll i'll keep away no 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 issues please correct then, them sir yeah yeah so the core issue is the object of attention so we have to pay attention to the reality the consciousness the material and the submergence that is coexistence now i am the seer as we have been discussing so i have to see and the body is my instrument so i can utilize the body in such a way that i am able to see so that is my decision so the object of attention is something universal everyone in the process of right understanding needs to understand the three realities the consciousness the material and the coexistence if you look at the process and they are also particularly the mechanism it is something subjective to the individual right so you have to utilize your body as an instrument the purpose has to be clear that's all so you find out how you are able to pay attention this way or that way whether you close your eyes or keep them open or focus on something you know through your eyes it's all up to you the object has to be fulfilled the purpose has to be fulfilled ji yeah the like purpose you. is yeah the purpose is getting to know the reality and the reality is the coexistence of the formulas and all the forms that are in motion correct bhaiya yeah so just saying that they are in motion is not enough so they have a state and motion both so the units have a state and a motion the space is there as no activity so that's what yeah. we are saying that every unit is activity yeah. as well as active with other units the space is no activity correct correct bhaiya nice nice bhaiya so as we had been mentioning exercise 1 is to understand the consciousness that is the self in detail exercise 2 is to understand the material one example being the body in detail and we we'll briefly touch upon exercise 3 which is for understanding the coexistence of the space so the target is to live with continuous happiness existence is there and that essentially means that units are there which are submerged in space which is all pervading the units are limited in size while the space has no limits now the units are of two kinds material and consciousness so one example of material is body our body is material something that we have been exploring i can observe the consciousness by observing the self so i can observe the self and then i can also observe the coexistence of the space <clears throat> so to begin with i can observe the distinction between two units i can also observe the relationship between two units so we can see that i am there the body is there i am related to the body through space and there is a distance between me and the body it's not the way two material units are at a distance but i am still at a distance from my body so can you observe the distance between me and my body so this is something that will also do in exercise 2 so exercise 2 is a preparation uh, which prepares me for exercise three we can also observe the relationship between units so i can see that two units are interacting they have effect on each other but there is something underlying that effect and that is the relationship we can also observe this so while observing the self we do observe the relationship while observing the body we still observe the relationship in me and the body as well as the feeling of relationship in me and then we can see the relationship you know, between every other unit so the sequence would be to see the self first because i am the seer doer and enjoyer the body is merely an instrument so when we develop the competence of observation within then it helps me observe the coexistence with the body also it helps me observe the material so the second would be observing the body and with that we can also with some analysis see how the whole material world is so we can observe the body and then we can observe the coexistence the space 
So these are the three objects of attention. We'll go from one to two to three. So we'll start by one, that is the self. The more clarity I have about the self, I can have a better clarity about my position with the body. And let me say here that self is that is I, self is me, I. So you know, when we are reflecting also, we need to see that we are not trying to refer to something outside. I am trying to refer to me, myself. Ji. So these are the three realities to be understood. And we'll be moving in this sequence, one, two, and three, where we'll start paying attention to the self first, and then the body, and then coexistence. Now, I need to see, to observe. So I am there, and the body is there. Body has eyes. I am the seer, the observer. This material body is used as an instrument, as and when required. So it's me who sees, who observes, not the body. So through the body, I look at the world outside. But the observation is taking place inside. So this is something that we can make out, that it's not the eyes that see. So the question that was raised right now, so whether to keep the eyes closed or open, it is completely up to you. The eyes are not going to see. Yeah. We can see some shift in our observation. For example, when the eyes are open, then I am having the form of various units in front of me, in my eyes, and I am sensing them. So my attention may be outside. That is possible. When I'm looking at people around me, when I'm looking at trees and plants and birds and animals and buildings around me, my attention may be outside. When I close my eyes, then my attention shifts inside. That is quite possible. So if it helps me, well and good. One problem could be there when I close my eyes and I start looking within. I can see a lot of problems within and I may start struggling with them. Right? And they, that may make me more unhappy, more disturbed. So I can open my eyes. I can look at the world outside also for time being. Because when I'm struggling just with my thoughts, that may or may not help. I essentially need to get resolved. So we need to be clear that the body is my instrument. Okay, I have to try the instrument and I can observe every moment, every moment. So throughout the day, it's not that I'm going to sit with eyes closed, right? So when I'm sleeping, my eyes are closed. For some time during the day, I can close my eyes and sit, but I have to interact with the world outside also. Now with the eyes open also, I can be observant of the reality. I can keep on observing my th feeling, my thought, my imagination, isn't it? So that is something which can continue. So one thing which is very basic is I am observing, not the body. Body is merely an instrument and I can utilize the body as per my need. Exercise one, if you see, seeing the self by the self. So the consciousness is observing the consciousness. I am observing myself. Second is seeing the body by the self. So the consciousness is observing the material. And the third is seeing the coexistence, the space by the self. So the consciousness is observing the coexistence, observing the distance between self and the body, observing the relationship between self and the body. From here we can start. And then gradually we can also be in a position to see the entire existence as it is. We are able to see the whole nature submerged in space. That is also possible. So I have to start from myself, isn't it? and then the body, and then I can observe the space between me and the body, the distance between me and the body, and so on. Priyaji? Namaste, Bhaiya. Uh, Bhaiya, I have a doubt. I went for a workshop for counseling and mentoring uh, from the college that sent me. Uh, Bhaiya, in that a psychiatrist came, and he told uh, the uh, one real story that one person, uh, uh, he was a very good guy, but his, uh, during his working, his brain got damaged, the prefrontal cortex. Then after that, his behavior was so totally changed. He became like a cruel person. Uh, how could that happen, Bhaiya? Because we are always, uh, the brain is actually a part of the body, you know, Bhaiya? So initially, his self was uh, like, he was such a nice person. He used to help everyone. His behavior was very calm. But totally it got changed. Like that he told. So the brain, uh, if it gets damaged, uh, your behavior totally changes. <laughs> yes. So let me explain this. So when you do not have the right understanding, right feeling, 
then we are living with animal consciousness and when we are living with animal consciousness then we are primarily motivated by sensation the body the physical facilities outside <clears throat> and that becomes the source of our imagination now when the brain gets damaged in such a way that i am getting sensation which is unfavorable right or maybe in some other manner then i can have this effect on myself but i'll say that if the same person goes through self exploration right then his conduct can be transformed so when we are not aware when we are assuming ourselves with the body and we are trying to fetch happiness from outside assuming the whole world as material considering the life to our own preconditioning preconditioning this kind of possibility is there it can happen so either there is some damage in the brain or some unfavorable situation also maybe some person was quite benevolent quite generous but he got cheated in life and he lost his family maybe and he became completely revengeful to the society so it can happen either way through some change in the body also or through some reaction from within also that is also possible so i have to observe closely what has happened to this person it's not that uh, in fact when the stories come to us maybe they do not reflect the complete reality also so you have to study this as a case and see what has actually happened with that person so i am getting sensation from the body and you know, through the brain if the sensation become unfavorable then my some other old sanskars can get also triggered that is also possible so this kind of possibility is there one may have a lot of fear you know for loss of body or you know, about the society or so many things and that may also get triggered there also have been occasions when people have met accidents serious accidents and earlier they were completely into accumulation and indulgence and they could for some moment observe that you know if that accident was beyond this limit body would have been gone and whatever i trying to accumulate and indulge for would have no meaning and they can suddenly change their conduct this is also possible so when you do not have the right understanding this kind of possibility is there something from outside or something in the body can affect my conduct quite possible yes bhaiya sure kan ji yeah namaste bhaiya namaste yeah bhaiya mera ek question hai the process what we are going here or what we are discussing the all thing is related to the self body and existence and coexistence and submergence in this space but when we look our preconditioning related to all religions existing in, in our whole world the concept of creator or what we call it god something you have already touched it previously but i could not get it clarity about this way that can we say the space itself as the god or what interpretation other religions they are making as a creator or god that clarity i want bhaiya yes bhaiya so we have to see what we assign this word god to what what is that reality whether we are relating god to space or relating god to existence or relating god to a developed self or something else that is something that we have to make out now we can see that space is no activity isn't it so i am when i am relating god to space then god is not the doer the self is the doer when i am relating god to coexistence then i can see that within coexistence there are some units which have the activity of knowing and assuming there are some activities you know which do not have this to some units which do not have this activity so i can also see you know how i relate god to when i am relating god to coexistence i can relate god to self which is the consciousness so like we can uh, we have a series of uh, deities you know whom we consider as excellent people who have lived the right way so i have to look within you know where i am paying attention to what i am assigning this word god to now when it comes to use of the word creator so we can see very much that this is existence not a creation this is something that i can observe at a rational level also i can observe within also so somebody say that this is a creation then there is a creator isn't it yeah now when we say that there is a creator then one may ask a question that who created that creator 
बिल्डिंग so when i create then only these things come into picture so yes. we try to use this logic to say that you see so many planets and galaxies and stars and working in such a self organized manner means self organized recognizing the relationship and fulfilling so who is the creator of all this then what we are trying to do here something that i observe for the self i am trying to give the same attribute to something else which i have not verified which i have just try to reason out in my imagination so i have to look within i have to see for myself you know what i am trying to pay attention to and from where did i get this idea have i verified it within or have i really you know or have i merely you know assume something this is something that i have to make out yeah bhaiya that's one more question bhaiya that's uh, what we are talking as enlightened people that anyway that's what way that is the different question their observations are different the one who says like this one other says like this so then uh, how it will be universal that is the question when we are observing within because i met with um, people who are observing almost uh, the night starting from 2 3 to morning up to 7 o'clock 8 o'clock their observation they say that there are chakras and all and when they come into activation the something happens uh, then uh, the universality i am not finding it that is the clarity i want bhaiya yeah. so that's what no we are trying to say here that the, it is only as a proposal for you you observe now few things here what you have said we have to observe about this thing uh, on a few points first of all we start by assuming that people have got enlightened and there is something that we are assuming <clears throat> one thing so that we have to keep open second thing is that even if the person has got enlightened and said something has it come to me the way he had shared or there has been some modifications therein third thing is the same reality can be expressed in multiple ways so what we are trying to do here we are trying to bring out the essence of all that has been said and done in the history for right understanding right feeling and right thought so we have to take everything as a proposal whether it comes this way or that way if somebody is talking about one kind of proposition take it as a proposition only take it as a proposal do not assume it to be true but verify on your own right somebody may say something else that also you can take as a proposal now in place of moving round and round with so many proposals what we can do as an alternative we can directly be a pure observer and see the reality and then these all proposals are going to be a help otherwise we may caught, get caught up in the vocabulary of different proposals now every proposal is going to have some vocabulary which any lots of words would be there and many times we get caught up in comparing the meanings of the words the notes notions the concepts and that is also not going to help that may be of help sometimes also deter my progress sometime essentially i have to see the reality so the way out is take everything from outside as a proposal and observe it yourself and then decide for yourself when you are able to see that yes it is naturally acceptable to me within and you are able to also validate in your living it becomes a part of your right understanding else not yeah thank you bhaiya thank you very much nice dear rtg 
भैया नमस्ते नमस्ते सभी को भैया वन क्वेश्चन आई हैड इन माइंड फॉर एग्जांपल जस्ट नाउ वन दीदी एक्सप्रेस दैट बाय लुकिंग एट द फ्लावर्स एंड नर्चर्ड प्लांट शी फील्स हैप्पी और समटाइम्स दैट मीन्स एटलीस्ट शी हैज टेकन अ डिसीजन इंस्टेड ऑफ लाइंग इन द बेड फॉर लॉन्ग आवर्स शी है चोजन गार्डनिंग और समटाइम्स बाय डूइंग सम गुड एक्सरसाइज और क्लीनिंग द हाउस uh instead of lying on the bed we have made a good decision i mean we have applied right understanding over there and uh we have done some task similarly there are lot of moments in uh, throughout the day that we apply right understanding and choose the option and we feel good about that so don't you feel or uh, don't we look at it that uh, by choosing such uh, small small uh um choi i mean uh, by having right choices at different moments of the day are we not ensuring uh, continuity of happiness um, uh, there is some limitation of time i just noted that is 6:30 now so i'll respond briefly you observe yes, yourself it's only that we are stretching the time duration for which we feel happy by fetching something okay. from outside but it's not continuity okay. if i go to see the flower and the flower has withered away maybe i do not feel happy now i have been watering a plant and the plant has died i do not feel happy so it cannot be a source of continuity of happiness though we may be trying like this you know in our life but it can never be a source of continuity of happiness it can only stretch my moments of happiness that's fine but we can you know discuss it further so as an assignment we'll keep on observing and then we'll discuss it further I conclude the session in English now.